how are you today? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing great. So can you start by introducing yourself and telling us some interesting things about you? Uh, I hope they're interesting, yes. Uh, so my name is Jose Pimienta, I go by Joe. Uh, something interesting about me is uh, I love comics, uh, I love to walk around, and I love um, hanging out with other people and doing things in the city. So. Um, I think that's interesting. So it's it's a uh, that's actually uh, pretty interesting. Yeah, I'm um, also a very good big boxer. I guess in case that works. <laughs> um. So I see. There's a is that a picture collage on your? Yeah, box? yeah. It's uh here. Uh, I'll try to move it just to give you a a, a glimpse of just like uh this is uh, a yeah. It's it's a lot. Yeah. It's uh it's. Uh, because I, you you are um you are looking at where I work. I'm sitting at my desk right now. Uh -huh. Um. So uh. So yeah. So I just like to have like a lot of visual noise because that keeps me uh that keeps me interested and that keeps me like uh you know it keeps ideas fresh and coming. So like uh, so yeah. Mm -hmm. So I just have like a giant collage of stickers and posters and drawings from other friends and things like that. So, yeah, they, it looks giant. It looks like it's almost like. Instead of a wall, you just took a piece of paper, added all those pictures, and just taped it on there. Yeah, it's uh no, it's it it's been it's it's years in the it's years in the making. This is like this is a lot of this is many many years of different oh, wow. sketches and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's it's uh, it's it's grown over the years. Yeah. So, what inspired you to write um Twin Cities? So the biggest inspiration for Twin Cities was that um, when I was when I finished sixth grade, uh, my parents also gave me the option of like um, if I wanted to study uh, middle school in the American side, I really wanted to stay on the Mexican side. Oh, yeah, I read I, it in the um, the author's letter part. Behind yeah, it. yeah. So like so so that was basically like the biggest inspiration, and also um, you know like um, something that happens to a lot of writers is that like you know as, as I'm sure you heard before is that you write what you know. And I knew a lot about living in a border city and I knew about, I knew a lot about having siblings. So I wanted to explore the, those ideas of like, what are sibling dynamics and like, what's, what's it like to have a sibling who is going through something similar to you, but in a very different, in a very opposite way. Mm -hmm. So, uh, so that, so those were some of like the, uh, the initial ideas for, 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 for the uh, book. I mean, well, actually, no, you're, I haven't actually heard ever anyone ever like talk about like writing write about what you know oh. like usually they just do a bunch of research on whatever they want right <laughs> well and, yeah i mean like <laughs> yeah and so this is actually that this is like the first time i've ever heard something like that yeah so like so let me compliment that a little bit more because i mean like yes it's the 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 if the, the, the phrase goes write what you know but also the idea is that when you do research you're learning more so you know more. So you're writing what you have learned, right? Like it's a, that's that's. So yeah, no, it's it's uh no research is very important, absolutely. And uh, yeah, I had to do a lot of research for this book in particular. But mm -hmm. how did you come up with the title? Um, it's uh, it's yeah. I wish that was a more interesting story. Uh, so here's the thing. Uh, my hometown where I grew up, Mexicali, um, it's it's a real town, and uh, and uh, and it also like Calexico is a real town, and the town is not the cities are not very old. They were um they were created in like nineteen o three, which is like a little over one hundred and twenty years ago almost. Um, and the reason why they were created is because you know a long time ago when Mexico and the U S were trying to find out where to put their borders decided to make that area like this is where the border cross is going to go and they figured like well how do we um you know how do we distinguish which city is which so they gave one city the name of com combining mexico and california mexicali and then on the other side they call it california and mexico which is calexico um and from the very from the very beginning they started referring to them as the twin cities because there were cities that were growing next to each other mm -hmm. so and I mean, so, if it if it took as much as different names to keep like it to know it apart, then I mean that must have been pretty like Twin Cities. Yeah, exactly. So like, so I kind of figured, well, if I want to write a story of twins and it's in it's in these Twin Cities, so it made sense. So like, it's a so yeah. I mean, it it was very obvious, and like it's a and it's paying homage to the area which are still referred to as the Twin Cities. So yeah, mm -hmm. that's where the name come from. That's actually pretty interesting. Yeah.
Mm. Are there any things that happen in your life that influence you to the book, other than Mexicali and um and the picture collage? Yeah, there's um I mean this is something that I do like to say a lot. So like it's uh, where it's like a uh, so the book is not autobiographical, but it is very personal. Uh, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of moments in that um, in that book that are like taken directly from my life uh, and from my life with my siblings. Uh, like, for instance, um, we loved going, you know, back in the 90s, um, if you wanted to see the newest movies, it was easier to go to the American side because they were premiering there. Whereas in, in Mexico, sometimes it took longer to get there. So, you know, like I, there were many times when like it's a, where if we wanted to watch like the newest animated movie that we really wanted to see, you know, we had to plan a trip to go and see it. And like, you know, it wasn't like a very long trip, but it was it, it was an entire errand. Um, also, for instance, um, in high school, I met friends that uh, that are still very close friends to this day with me and that I love very much. So, um, you know, like even though I was on the Mexican side. Uh, there's a lot of like the uh, the friendships that Teresa has, uh, th 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 you know, like that I tried my best to make sure that they were like they were very supportive friends. They're very loving friends. Um, I had a lot of those experiences and and a lot of friendships like that when I was in middle school. So like I try to bring those in, um, and I will never forget this one. I do think it's a it's a very big one of like um, um, if you read in the book like uh, when they go to see the fireworks. Um, but Teresa is saying that like I can't stay up that late because I have school the next day. Yeah. That's something that happened a lot. Whereas like it because the U.S. has different holidays in Mexico. Yeah. Sometimes you know like one was having a holiday, but the other one didn't. Like it's you know making those things hard. was like yeah, it was very hard. Yeah. So uh, so yeah, so so I tried to put those in the book because I figured they were good stories. Mm, those sound hard actually I mean if one friend is having a party and you want to hang out with that friend but the next day you have school and say it's early or something and... yeah. yeah absolutely <laughs> yeah so like it's so yeah so I, I put those in there mm -hmm. um so how many siblings do you have uh I'm a middle child I have one older brother and one younger sister so mm -hmm. So, uh, so yeah, so we, and, and we're very spaced up apart. My older brother is three years older than me and my younger sister is four years younger than me. So we're very much of like, you know, we were always in different phases, yeah. um, but, uh, but we were also like, you know, but we were also going through like a lot of like similar upbringings and stuff. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was just curious because, um, I mean, in the back of the book, I remember reading about it, but I don't exactly remember the um, number. I thought, yes. yeah, because I'm pretty sure, I thought there was somewhere in that where it said that you had a bunch of siblings or something. Oh, uh, well, no, I have a bunch of cousins. Like it's, uh, ah. like, I do have a lot of cousins, but uh, but no, siblings in my house, there was three of us and that was enough to be a, to be a very loud house. Uh, we're, we, we are a very loud family. So. Yeah, I have two siblings, too. Yeah? So I where are you? I have a younger brother and younger sister. Oh, so you're the my oldest. My brother is one year younger than me, and my sister is two years younger than my brother. Nice. Okay. So, wow, so, so you are the older sister of the house, huh? <laughs> How'd you come up with the main characters, Fernando and Teresa? We've talked about them a lot, but I have yeah. actually... Mm. um so that's that that's a really good question um unfortunately i don't know how i came up well no i kind of do um so so when it comes into writing the way that i usually go about it is that like i'm uh, i usually write ideas first so like so it's more like yeah the idea of like oh it's a, it's going to be about these two kids that are living in this town and like that so, but part of the writing um uh for for the characters themselves it was a lot of exploration um, you know, just trying different things out, but also, um, as you may have, may have already deduced, uh, I am not a twin, so yeah. so one of the things that I had to do, going back to what you said earlier, is that uh, I had to do a lot of research, mm -hmm. which means that I had to talk to a lot of people that are oh, twins. twins. So, uh, so I started interviewing a lot of twins, and it just started asking them questions, and you know, like the characters Fernando and, Ter and Teresa, like they are fictional characters, but they are made of like different elements and different um, anecdotes and different uh, traits that I learned by interviewing twins. So other than writing a script, I usually do have like an entire document where I'm just writing down like 
character design, as I like to call them, where you're just coming up with a character of like, if this is a character who's like, oh, she really likes to do this and he likes to do this. And like, she, you know, um, like for instance, I remember writing that like, what if she never finishes her food? Like every time they go to eat, she never finishes her food. Just, just like, like a little trade, but like, what if Fernando is very shy or like, what if he's like, um, what, or what if he's very impulsive? Um, and it's a, it's, it's just a matter of trying things out and sometimes that sticks and sometimes that doesn't. So it's a, it's part of writing. Mm. <laughs> um, I've actually once when I tried to write a book before I've tried I tried doing them Um, I actually even tried making these things I called character charts where I put like favorite food favorite dessert favorite color favorite thing That is excellent. Yes, keep doing those because they they come very in handy. Uh, absolutely, and like and uh, just to give you like a, a little bit of a more note on that is that even though you don't directly put it in the book, but you as the writer you know that about the characters, so it just helps you make the character more real and no, that's that's excellent. Yeah, character charts. It's an excellent way of doing it. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. how long did it take to write the book? Oh. uh let's see like the original i had the original idea i think sometime in 2014 i think or like early 2015 um but like um uh, like with many writers and many cartoonists like we're always working on a bunch of different things so i was working on other comics here that, but uh, but you know i always have like a stack of like oh this is an interesting idea so um so in 2015 i think is when i started like polishing it a little bit more of like this sounds cool but I was working on other things um and then I didn't start like actually writing 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 like typing a script until like 2018 I think or 2019 so it took about three years of just oh this is interesting let me write here something there or like I'll have a file uh, I'll draw something and then around 2019 or 2018 is when I started writing like out of like a full synopsis of like, this is what's going to happen. Mm. Um, and then the script, like, I think it happened around that time, like 2019. Um, and then by 2020, I started drawing it. So, uh, um, and then, yeah, I finished it by 2021. So then it came out in 2022. So yeah, I think that's correct. So all in all, it must have been like six ish years in total. So it's a uh, it's it it feels long. <laughs> <laughs> How long would you estimate or say that the publishing process was? Oh geez, um, you mean from uh from finishing the book to getting it published? Yeah. So that's about, it usually takes about a year. Um, and uh, I know that sounds like a very long time, but like a lot of things are, yeah, that's it's- uh, Other authors where it takes much, much longer. Yeah, I mean like, but that's the thing of like, uh, it's, it takes about a year, like, but like once, once the book is finished, like let's just say like it's finished, but it takes about a year to like do revisions, you know, fix some things up, uh, try to get, you know, try to get other people to read it, you know, making sure yeah. that like, you know, making sure like they, all the advertisement is going to be working in place. So that takes about a year. And in the meantime, that's also when they start getting, you know, asking you to do like the back matter and like the author yeah. note and the dedications and like all that also takes, you know, it takes its time. So like, uh, so yeah, I mean, even though it's a year, but it goes by like that. Um, but yeah, like that's, that's after you have like finished everything like dr the drawing and the coloring and all that once it's and all like, the revisions and all that yeah yeah and all the revisions and stuff so yeah so it's a it's it's a process <laughs> it's it's a very long process um, yeah, yeah. Well, actually um revisions have like i've heard like almost all the time revisions is the one thing i can guarantee that any time is included in the book oh yeah absolutely okay. especially and they're like some authors even tell me like revision and revision and revision and revision and then revision and like they spill out the entire process and they're like and then this happened and then this yeah. Happened. yeah no absolutely and well because i mean like you know another cliche that is also uh, yeah. true is that like it's that writing is rewriting so yeah i mean like even even when you have something that's like oh you think it's finished but then you go back and you read it like oh well maybe i can tweak this a little more or like oh i missed that part and so bring always bringing like a fresh set of eyes just to look at it and like to revise because like there are things that I that I would forget like for instance uh, Fernando wears a watch 
And, but then there would be panels where I just forgot to draw the watch and it was, yeah. And then it wasn't until like months later that someone said, Hey, he's not wearing a watch here. I was like, ah, oh, I have to go back and draw the watch and like, or like, or like, Hey, you know, here he said this, but there he said that, does that make sense? I was like, Oh gosh, you're right. So, so yeah, it's uh revisions are a very big part of the process, but it's also, you know, it's your, uh, your fine tuning, like you're trying to find like, how to finish it up so yeah i've heard that revisions are supposed to be like the last 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 part but when i tried out to um like i told you how i tried to make a character yeah um, also i once i tried to write a picture book cool that's awesome um but i actually I, that was longer ago and i was I've made I made a bunch of spelling mistakes and then I was fixing it like as I wrote it. Yeah. Um, but I I realized that that's actually a pretty big mistake because then all my time is being put into revising it when I have much more time later to do that. But I have I haven't even like gotten to write the actual book. Yeah, but the, I mean you're right, but that's also why like um just to tell you a little bit more of like how I prefer to go about that is that like what I prefer to do is just make a draft. It, you know, just just have something. If if like, just make a draft, and then like, oh, that draft is finished, and then do revisions, and then you do all the revisions on that draft, and you put it away for a bit, and then you come back and you do another draft, and like, yeah, because I mean, because you're right. I mean, um, if you're constantly only doing the revisions on one particular thing, then that's kind of how you can get stuck, and then and then before you know it, you're like, ah, oh, not it's not even finished yet. I'm not moving forward. Why am I doing this? Ah. Yeah. You know, and like, and yeah, and and that is, in case you need to hear this, that never stops. Uh, I am very old, and I still deal with that all the time. Of like, ah, uh, so so yeah, it's very normal. Uh, but yeah, like that's why like something that I have found out that works for me very well is just to just do a pass, and then once that pass is like it's finished, I finish the pass, and then do some revisions, and then like, well, I did those revisions. And then I'm gonna show it to another person, and then they look at the and they make revisions like oh, so and that way it starts feeling like it's going somewhere hmm. because at least you have like a finished thing. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, sense. yeah. So, so what Mister the theme do you hope readers learn from the book? So something that I I think that like one of the biggest lessons from the book is that. Um, you know, be, because this is a book about twins who are going through, you know, who are going through very different things. One of the things that I always wanted to make sure is that, like, that the character, whatever the characters were going through was very valid and, you know, and that it felt very true to them. So I guess, like, one of the things that I hope that readers take away from this book is that whatever difficulties anyone is going through, it's a very valid experience and different feelings will happen. Um and it's okay that like just because you're having some feelings and other and someone else having an opposite experience ha is having the same feelings, both feelings are very valid because it's um, it's not the situation, but it's more like how you go by the situation. Mm -hmm. So you know because you know Teresa is going through her own uh, through her own obstacles, and Fernando is going through his own obstacles, and I think that both experiences are very valid and very real and. It wasn't, it's not until they talk about them. Spoiler alert. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so like, so I think that that's one of the big lessons. And the other big lesson is also that, um, um, you know, having siblings is very fun. It's very, it, but it's also, a, it's not the easiest thing in the world. It's, yeah, it's that's true. Yeah, it's not the easiest thing to have to share everything or that you're to have to, you know, like, the, you know, to have a different perspective on things. So like, uh, so yeah, um, sibling relationships and, um, the, you know, and valid and valid experiences, I guess, is mm. how I would go about it. Um, If there was one piece of advice you would give to yourself if you went back in time to any point in life, what would it be? Um. I, for some reason, I want to make this like a, maybe some kind of funny, but like I'm I'm not that funny. Uh, but uh, no, I mean like I guess one piece of advice that I would give a younger my younger self is um, um. Keep writing. Keep trying things out. Um, practice more drawing. Practice, practice, practice. Uh, 
practice more and just practice the things that you like and practice the things that you think are difficult. Because uh, we're going to go back to like what we were saying earlier of uh, comics. Basic. Yeah, 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 that and also like, uh, you know, I also like, uh, I didn't know that I was a reader when I was growing up. Like uh, I thought, you know, like, I thought that like reading was so difficult for me um, for a lot of reasons. Like it was just very difficult for me to read books. But then, but I love reading comics. Like comics were, were great. Comics. However, yeah, yeah, and comics are literature and everything. But I also do think that, like, if I would have started reading more comics even earlier or just, like, paying more attention to, like, how reading comics can help me read prose a lot more, um, I think that I, I, I would have practiced that. But, like, it's a, I don't think I did. Anyways, um, so, yeah, I think I would just say practice more to myself. I would also tell myself to not be too hard on myself, to take it easy. Um, it'll be okay. And also use your words. Uh, that, is a, that is a big piece of advice that I wish I would have, um, that I wish I would have uh, heard is just to use my words. Cause, uh, uh, cause sometimes I didn't. So yeah. my dad told them to my brother all the time. <laughs> it's, 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 it's easier said than done for sure. But like, it's a, but it's very important. Cause I mean, uh, sometimes, it's not that it's not that we don't have something to say is that we don't know what words to use mm. and and that kind of gives a little bit like oh that is very frustrating when you don't have the words to express what you want yeah. so search for the words that's the advice search for the words it's uh, it's, uh that's, that's like 15 pieces of advice so like it's uh, i know that you only <laughs> asked for one but it's uh no, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> so, do you have any hobbies other than, well, it's obvious that you have photo collecting and reading comics, but other than that... Do you yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have I have some hobbies. Um, some of my hobbies are I love walking, so I love going on walks. I love hiking. I love riding my bicycle. Um, I, I know that I said this earlier, but, like, one of my hobbies is also a community organizing. So uh, I think that that's super important and, uh, and uh, it's a hobby because um, I, you know, because with community organizing, it also means that I'm also learning a lot, mm -hmm. um, you know, and I'm learning of like how my city runs and like what, who's, you know, who's working for, you know, who, you know, who does what. And um, that's a hobby because um, that's, I'm learning things and I'm spending time with people that I like. And, um, and it's also, I also do think that it's making me grow as a person not just in my art and in my job, but also in like something completely different. Like community organizing doesn't really have a whole lot to do with comics, which is my job. So, uh, so yeah, so that's a hobby. Also, um, I love playing guitar and mandolin. So Ooh. like, uh, so, so that's a, so that's a big hobby. Um, so yeah, it's a, I, I have some hobbies. I, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I find spare time. <laughs> so are you going to be writing any more books? Uh the answer to that is yes. Uh, so yeah. So uh, so right now, uh, I'll, so I have a book coming out in September that it's a YA oh. book. Yeah, it's 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 a YA book that it's about these um, that it's um, you know this is not a spoiler. It's it has zombie squirrels, so it'll be really cool. Uh, I'm also working on. Uh, I also so here's the thing. So Twin Cities is actually kind of part is kind of book two of a trilogy that i was that i was planning to do um because um so as as you as i mentioned like i'm from mexicali and i wanted to write like i wanted to write three books that were like the trilogy of mexicali so i wanted to write three books and the first book is another book called sun catcher that it's about a teenager uh, but yeah but but it's a it's a ya book so you know it's it, it's a ya and then Twin Cities was the second book, which is, you know, it's about twins. And uh, I just finished the, uh, the third book, which uh, it's, I think it's coming out next year, like around this time or like in the spring. It's called Halfway to Somewhere. And um, yeah, and, and that's about, a, it's about a kid from Mexicali who moves to Kansas with their mom and their younger brother, but their older mom sister... Moved. Yeah, and and uh, and their younger and their older sister and their dad stay in Mexico, so so it's about it's about that. Um, so yeah, so and it's also a middle grade book. Um, so I finished. I mean, it's finished. I wrote it and it's finished. Now we're just we were talking earlier. It's in the 
yeah, it's revising, and that's where we Michael, are. Well, yeah, the circle of revising. <laughs> yeah, the circle of revising. Um, and, and and the other thing that I'm working on right now, actually, just as we were talking, is that I'm working on a nonfiction book about a about a, an accident that happened in a lake in Louisiana. Uh, and I'm and I think that that's also middle grade. Uh, so those are the books that I'm that I've that I've worked on that are coming out soon. Hey, you've been I, doing it, a bunch of middle grade. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been I've been busy. And then uh, other than that, I think that like later this year, I do want to sit down and write again because I haven't written anything in like two or three years. Just because. Oh it's, wow. Like, yeah, I've just been busy working with other books and stuff. But like it's a. But yeah, I do want to sit down and like write another book soon. I mean write another book but like in the meantime like i've been writing like ideas and thoughts and things like that but like that we'll like... pick up on another thread and start making the minutes yeah exactly exactly and yeah like that's what i'm i'm hoping to do that later this year so uh fingers crossed <laughs> yeah. And uh, so yeah. yeah yeah and and the toast it's a, yeah it's uh someday i'll learn how to do that so I, I don't know how some people i just put that. my one my big toe on top of my second one <laughs> <laughs> uh, so thank you so much for your time taking with this interview um i really enjoyed it i just want to say like thank you for having me and